What's up, y'all? Got a banger from Alpha Central. Let's get straight into it. If you want a man to spend money, just tell him he's broke. Is it harsh? Yes. Is it ethical? Probably not. But does it f***ing work? Yeah. I want you to say... <laughs> this stuff does not work. Shots fired! <laughs> Shots fired! Chat, let me know. Would that work on you? You're broke. You can bet it. I'm broke. <laughs> Don't talk to me. I'm broke. If a girl calls me broke, I'm agreeing with her. I mean, if you can't afford it, that's like totally fine. You can just tell me that. Because what they're gonna say is- I can't is, no, afford it. No, 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 it's, it's not that, I can afford it. You say, okay, well then what's going on? I mean, nothing, like, yeah, let's do it. And I'm in sales just- This is coming from a woman who is alone, by the way. Put this into perspective. Reality is, if you're a woman and your client's a man on the other side of the Zoom or the phone, there is such a powerful, power dynamic that you can play on like i'm telling you guys they would rather pay for something than tell a female over the phone that they can't afford something shut go bro i, I be nope. telling women all the time uh-uh you you think you're ruth's chris baby more like mickey d's dollar menu shots fired shots fired you're not doing this <laughs> you do not cut the mustard Cut the mustard <laughs> for a Ruth's Chris steak dinner. Medium well. How about medium well? I'm taking you to McDonald's. How about that? How about that medium well? <laughs> Being humbled by four men in 40 seconds. Let's see it. Humbled by four men in 40 seconds. Oh. Honey, what are you doing? Um, so we're just all gathered here today because I wanted to get your number. Yeah, bro. Next. Okay. All right. So I wanted to get your number. That's why we're gathered here today. Okay, I'm sorry. Oh, this isn't going terrible. What about you? What's your excuse? He's actually gay. Oh my god, what about you? I'm not, but I'm last, so I mean, I don't know. Oh. <laughs> my man gave her a second just to turn. <laughs> He's like, I'm last, so uh, yeah, you're good. Like, I'm good on that. Excuse me, do you have a map? Because I just get, keep getting lost in your eyes. That was, that was smooth. Okay, thank you, but yeah, you don't want to talk to me? Sorry, I'm okay, in a rush. Don't wear such a nice shirt next time, then. <laughs> Take care. Back in my day, we used to call that harassment. Oh wait, it still is harassment. What is that? It looks like she fell in our closet and was like, I'm gonna wear that today. Shots fired! Shots With fired! the sneakers and the skirt, like none of it matches, none of it flows. Just because a woman's doing it doesn't make it funny or cute. What is that? I don't have to know your life, but there's a lot of men in here. We'll tell you something, yeah? Oh, Just oh. growing up, if someone called your mom a or a Enough oh. to make you scrap, let alone someone showing your mom busting it open. Are you joking? Allow oh, it. That's man. just like, your insecurity, Lord. Allow it. It's okay, a cure. It's also, it's also your experience. Of course, the bob cut. <laughs> You're insecure. <laughs> I love it. But how can I be insecure? Yo, I'm insecure because I'm pointing out that most so, kids will not want their mom to be busting it open online and people paying to see their mom do. Oh, like most kids don't want that, and you know this. Don't argue with it. How many of us want, want that for, so, for our mother? Oh, right, she needs the mic. Don't argue mic. it like it's normal. It's not normal. His insecurity. That's what normal people. Well, let me know what's more secure. Setting a boundary with a woman in the risk of losing her or just letting a woman run amok and do whatever she wants? Chat, let me know. What's more secure? Setting a boundary and risking losing a woman or just letting her run amok and do whatever she wants? Personally, what I think, setting a boundary and saying, hey, this is the line in the sand. You do this. I'm out of your hair like your favorite shampoo. <laughs> to me, that is more secure. I'm going to just keep it a buck. Letting a woman do whatever she wants, bro, you have to lead these women. You can't just let them do whatever they want. They're going to act like children. That's why. Because women, women want the equality of men. They want the accountability of children. And they want the privilege of being a woman. Men, we just got to be men. We got to buck up. It's a lot different for us. Uh-oh. Goodness gracious. Made a skip there. Sorry about that, no, chat. No. Let's go back here. Indubitably. <laughs> She's a slag. That word is so funny to me. Can I get your number? Uh, I've got a girlfriend, I'm sorry. Well, you look like you can't ride a bike. Wow, got me. <laughs> so dumb. She Stupid. wanted a reaction out of him, but he chose maturity. Bet she didn't like that for content. Would you date someone plus size? No. No. If I can't throw her in the air and leave her there, then <laughs> that ain't for me, you feel me? If you know, you know. What brings you out in the face? Girls. <laughs> girls? <laughs> what kind of girls? What's your type? Look, light skin, slim, thick, five, three. Would you date someone plus size? No. Nah. Why is that? It can be brutally. That's big bag, big bag, big bag, big bag. Because I can't afford that red lobster bill. Shots fired! Shots fired! Chat, let me let me know in the comments. Let me know in the comments, bro. Do you like plus size women? Personally, it's not for me. But then to piggyback on that, let's say you're taking a girl out. 
Actually, buck all that. Red Lobster or Olive Garden? I, I'm getting random on this one. Red Lobster or Olive Garden? Let me know. Let me know in the comments. Let me know in the chat right now. I know the modern dating scene sucks, but so does getting hurt physically. Have you ever been the victim of a personal injury case? Every year as an image consultant, I meet so many different types of clients, and a lot of them are recovering from injuries or accidents, ranging from car accidents to workplace injuries. And I was extremely surprised to see how many people lost their personal injury cases, which is why I'm here to talk about Morgan & Morgan. America's largest injury law firm. They specialize in a wide variety of personal injury cases, and they have won thousands of big cases. And if you do end up working with them, they will fight for the money you deserve. Just recently, Morgan & Morgan secured verdicts of $12 million in Florida and $26 million in Philly. That's up to 40 times the highest insurance offer. And I'm telling you, your case could be worth millions. And the best part is it's all free unless you win your case. If you have also been a victim of a personal injury or a serious accident, you can visit www.forthepeople.com slash Levi. Found in the description below where you can start your free claim today. Personally, I'm Team Red Lobo. Some of y'all might be coming at me in the comments, but I'm Team Red Lobo. Olive Garden's good, though. That's just not my type. Like, nah, I'm cool off that one. I'm cool. Have I'm you cool. tried it? Nope. And I don't want to try. I can't knock it till you try it, man. I can knock it, but I'm not going to try it. I'm not going to try it. <laughs> it's funny that women who had... I, I never understood that. You have to try it to know. No, I don't have to stick rocks in my butthole to know I don't like that. You know what I mean? I don't know why that came to me, but like, I don't have to step on Legos to know it's probably not going to feel good. It's not cheating. Going out seeking attention from other men. But going out... So with... in a sense, it is. Okay. It's seeking validation. Facts. See, girls don't go out to get guys. They go out to put themselves in a position to be hit on. You know what I'm saying? Well, it's because it's women are marketers and men are salesmen. And ladies, if you're going out to the club, more than likely a guy will hit on you. You're going out there to get attention because you you are insecure. Their role. <laughs> hey, if that's a hill she wants to die on, I it mean, won't bro. be a lonely death. Because other deluded women will be right up there with her. Mm -hmm. so, so what's the reasons why you like me? You me? Yeah, money. But you're cheap, though. I hate that. Because I get money, but cheap still. Like, bro. What's wrong with a cheap? Everything. I spend money on the right things. Everything is wrong with it. All right, there's nothing wrong with being a cheap. You feel me? If you guys have money and don't want to spend it on things that's not going to benefit um, you in the long run, that's okay. Nah. If y'all really then you do things like that. If it's somebody that you're not with, do not use that as the first result. Bro, never spend money on women that you don't date. I uh, yeah, like, like I said, do coffee dates if it's a girl you're casually dating, bro. I would I would never spend any type of substantial money on a chick unless you know there was mad potential or at least we were in a relay. Or jerk. Twerk or jerk? Did you like that? <laughs> no, it was awful. It was huh? awful. All that to get views, I mean. This guy was just here chilling, just, minding his own business. Every girl's a 304, like, loses the appeal. And she was ready to act like she'd just made his day. Um, no thank you. Researchers say they are seeing a trend of women dating down. What? Which means, you know, dating a man down. who... Oh, dating man. down. Really? Alright, all right, listen, it was in the prompt, right? <laughs> really? Men are dating down. Oh, I mean, who I say all that? Jeez. Uh, hey. Disgruntled. Hey. Men are still expected to provide, protect, monetarily, physically, and emotionally. And then these ladies come out here and are ran. She's a runner, she's a track star. And they star. just expect a guy to save them. I can be your hero, baby. We're not saving anybody. We don't wear capes, do we, chat? Thank you. <laughs> this is just the reality of it. So women, you know, we're more educated now, and I think that we're furthering our education. So with that being said, we're going to hold off on the baby making. We're going to hold off until we get that great job, really career driven. Mm -hmm. And I don't think there's anything wrong with hoping that there's someone either on your level or higher than you. All right. <laughs> so before, right, it was okay when the man made more money to be the one to buy everything, to do, you know, treat you and all this other kind of stuff. And now that you make more money, you can't be that one. Right, you can't be the one to pay for the meal, and because you're dating down. Dating down, I mm -hmm. hate that. Yeah. What is that about? It wasn't called dating mm -hmm. down. Right. Yeah. When men were the breadwinners and all that. Yeah. 
I don't, it's I called dating now. It's family. dating down. Yeah. What is that? She got real quiet when logic was yeah, presented. Gotta love how quick. both men addressed it immediately and didn't try to tap dance around it. Y'all, so while I'm at Chipotle, you know, minding my cute little business. So this man is probably like four people ahead of me. And you know, when I come in, everybody turns around to see who's coming in the store as they should, you know, be aware of your surroundings. And, you know, I noticed that he is looking a little longer than everybody. So I'm like, okay, he finds me a track. No biggie, right? So he's putting his order in and everything like that. I'm in line waiting, kind of on my phone, but I can see him. After he orders, he kind of like steps out the way a little bit so that the next person can, you know, pay for their food. He's kind of like looking back into the line. I'm like, okay, he's kind of looking my way. I don't know what he gonna do. This is kind of weird to come up there so he can pay for my food. <laughs> so I'm getting double rice. I got chicken. I don't never get chicken. I done got a little extra uh guac. I'm getting things like, oh, he finna pay for this. So I ain't gonna have to worry about it. Honey, I get to the point where it's time for me to pay. She says like 17 something. I'm like, okay. Now before I pull out my little wallet or whatever, I look back one more time, baby, he was nowhere to be found. This woman I really thought this dude just came to Chipotle to pay for her meal. Are she stupid? Stupid. Is this the mental gymnastics these women go through, really? Outside, he, hey, excuse me, ma'am. I think you look so beautiful. Can I have your number? Child, please get out my face. I, uh, jingled that Chipotle bag. Got in my car and skirt right off on him as he stood there. Cause you think you're gonna get my number after you just watched me pay for my food and you was right there? Uh-uh. What is this? What is this economy that we're in where women think that men are just here to just provide a wallet and pay for things to me it just makes them closer to escorts escorts want things paid for it's just so weird to me it's like a certain level of being a prosy 20s have too much confidence i don't know i, I li no listen listen do you see how much confidence she had when she said that <laughs> this is a problem I'm well, I, I, I was talking to Cassie the other day, and I was like, usually it's the girls that are the big backs, big back, big. and they're not hot that have the most confidence. And it's usually the girls that are hot that have the least amount of confidence, which is why I say go for the hot ones. Thank you. I, I was hanging out with a comic and his girlfriend, and some of her friends were out. Everyone had a couple of drinks. We all got a little silly. And one of them just kind of gave me like a half flash, not full Nepal, just a little, little Panama Canal. <laughs> and she says, she goes, she looks right there, she goes, I bet I'm hotter than your wife. What? I didn't know how to respond to that what level that? of confidence. I mean, I wanted to be like, yeah, you're hotter than my wife, but you're not hotter than my house and children. You know? I have a 3% mortgage. You think I'm going to throw that away on you? Like, yeah, are you thanks. crazy? No, that's crazy. Yeah, I have a pre-COVID mortgage. He what are lucky. you doing right now? I have two kids. What is your having it? Custody? Are you crazy? <laughs> This guy's good. The situation resolved itself, though, because that's what I wanted to say. What I said was, yeah, but you're not hotter than my kids. Mm. <laughs> Women want everything in life, even if it's the life that another woman's living. So much for sister solidarity. How much an alpha man should cough up for a wedding ring? From oh, this is going to be good. No. <sighs> an alpha man? Let's see. My understanding, a guy should be spending three months salary on a ring. So if that isn't six figures, you probably shouldn't be getting married. Like if he Chad, let me know who's making six figures every three months, bro. Good Lord. That is a ton of money, bro. God. He's not spending that. Does he really love you or does he just want a hot trophy wife? Let me do my research. Okay, Kelsey, we checked your Instagram. You're busting it open on the gram. <laughs> but now I see a link tree. Let's tap that. Oh, OnlyFans. I knew it. Fans, I wonder how much it cost. Seven buckaroos and 50 cents? 750? <laughs> That's how much you get for 750 a month. I'm telling y'all, when I say this 499 a month to see a girl's booty hole, you're talking about 750 for a month. That's like what, 12 cents a day? Let's do the math. Let's calculate that. How much is that a day? <laughs> I love it. $7.50 divided by 31. 31. 24 cents a day <laughs> making 20 cents a day she's not even making a quarter a day off each person but she wants a thirty thousand dollar ring oh no she wants a hundred thousand dollar ring who is wife and you nobody's wife listen fellas if she's complaining about the price of a ring she's selling it just mm -hmm. like this dryer her understanding is skewed because bro, that's no wild. This this is one of the guys from the soft guy era. Man, we need more men like this, bro. Exposing this hypocrisy, this craziness. If there's love, she'll take a For ring. The price pop. of a, a pack know, of ramen noodles, you can get this OF girl. <laughs> <laughs>
Oh lord. Big back, big back. What is this? All right, what is this? It's love to be the new and they don't want to chase, but you have to chase. Don't mind chase you? Uh, I don't really answer DMs. I don't give them the chance. Okay, but you want them to chase you, but you're not going to answer them. Yeah, keep going. One day I will. One day you will? Yeah, okay. when you're deserving. I'm here to tell you right now, we don't care. Let me tell, right, let me tell you. <laughs> we don't care. Funny how it's deserving odd. Deserving of that? Chat, let me know. Do any of us deserve that? I wouldn't wish this on my worst enemy. Shots fired! Shots fired! That is bad. When you got the jeans tucked up to the navel, the little belly button there, you're hiding something, baby. I already know you is. Either that guys don't know how to back down or don't know to try it. God. Enough. Strange to think there used to be a time where we That's just what I'm put saying. It's usually the beat girls that are, they think they have this inflated sense of self and they have the higher value. This dude's flabbergasted. He didn't even know what to say. Equal effort. Somebody. Hey, look this. Do I look nice on that? Somebody mama. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like yogurt left out in the sun in July. Shots fired! Shots fired! Yikes. And before you ask, yup. It might be a filter or something like that. I don't know. Just a guy who doesn't want to do everything for clicks, subs, and views. Um, height. Mainly. Okay. That might be an issue. Too short? We about the same height. What, what? the? <laughs> oh my god. These women talking about a man being too short? I'm six foot. Oh, what? how tall are you? Five feet, but in these heels, I feel like I'm giving a little bit taller. No. <laughs> oh, I'm six foot. You know that, right? Grown woman with braces also. Ick for me. Let me know, chat. Is, is a grown woman having braces an ick? Look, he didn't want her either, and it's okay if they didn't vibe. What's not okay Bro, is that she needed crazy. a reason to put him down to make herself feel better about him popping his balloon. Be you. Be real. Be authentic. Be your favorite kind of be woman. Be real, be authentic, but got more plastic surgery done to your face than... I don't, I don't even know what, what analogy I'm giving here, but your lips done, your nose done, your cheeks done. Talking about being real. Like, y'all got so much plastic in your face, all that stuff is fake, but you want us to keep it real? Shots Come fired! On. Shots fired! Got more, got more plastic on your face than the ocean does. Pollution. What is it? What would it be? Littering, I guess? Be you. Be real. Uh, says the girl that has a BBL and a heap of work done. And there's nothing wrong with getting work done. But if you're going to quote, be real, be authentic. How about you be honest to your followers, your millions of followers, that you've had a BBL done, that you've had a heap of work done. And if you're going to quote, be real, what do you mean real? Your body ain't real. And yeah, it just nice. drives me crazy yeah. when people are trying to be motivating with these quotes and it's not in line with what they actually are. Facts right here. Yeah, like nobody's nose looks like that, lips look like that. Like these ladies all look the same. They all look like cats. Meow. That's what Chicken they look when like When you can't to even me. follow what you preach just to get more followers. That's why I don't like men who like know their worth. Like, <laughs> I hate y'all. I hate men who know their worth. They be like, I don't gotta deal with girls. I know my worth. I got my worth. Four men was just like dinner and but now y'all want to be like having real deep conversations and <laughs> y'all want to be like asking out what you what you do or what I do trying to cut off like no I don't got time for the drama or you toxic I hate when say to me you toxic so what's up what you doing tomorrow who yeah. teaching y'all that for real who teaching y'all that teaching us what y'all worth I don't like that <laughs> what I'm getting from this is that she doesn't like a man who can stand on business I mean who can stand on business. <laughs> <laughs> that just sounded funny when he said it. <laughs> yeah, she just wants a man she can manipulate, straight up. I have a master's in public administration. I got a PhD. And I have a law degree. How tall are you? Horrible. 5'9". Okay. Dress size? Godfather. 16. God! You don't choose to be single. Big back, big back. 16! Big back, big back. Jeez! You didn't choose to be single. I'm sorry. Uh, how much do you weigh? Who me? Mm -hmm. uh, I weigh 200. Okay, so the Cowboys are calling. We need a loot. <laughs> the Cowboys are calling. We need a new linebacker to hit the A gap. Shots fired! Shots fired! <laughs> we do need some more tight ends. All right, let me let you get your big up off my show because okay. I don't do this.
<laughs> started out with all those fancy degrees saying uh, them. I love that she's like, I got a PhD. I got this. I got that. I got. It's like your career, your education. <laughs> oh my gosh. Your education doesn't dictate your worth when you're a woman. Why isn't anyone saying anything? They just think it's funny. This man is clearly bothered by what she's doing, and they just think it's funny. Imagine if the roles were reversed on this. It's just crazy how normalized it is to just make men feel uncomfortable. She thinks it's funny because the joke's on him. She won't be the one laughing when he turns back around and tell her it's not a joke. It's called being annoying. The man, I can take accountability and acknowledge that I'm imperfect. So for example, if someone said, if a chick said to me like, hey Marquette, you know, I really like guys with hair. <laughs> For sure, like, that is better than being bald. Because if you deal with a woman and you say, hey, rate each other, I'm like, oh girl, you're a bad B, you're beautiful, you're all tens. Whereas men, we have to live in reality. We have to acknowledge the reality about ourselves and the reality about others and figure out where we stand on the hierarchy. Because I can tell you this, if you ask this young lady, is she intelligent, she look and say yes. If you ask her, does she have manners? She'd say yes. But she's been interrupting and she's been rude and unruly this whole time, which is why I have to address it. Because too often guys will look at her and say, you know, she's attractive. I want to smash. And because they want to smash, they're about to start tap dancing and like being real nice. And because they never told her the truth, she doesn't even know the truth. That's the point. You get lied to, then you get smashed and dashed. And at the end, you're one smushed and pushed why because you have no sense of reality and why does the lie work on you because you want to be lied to men are willing to burn That's why men lie and women wear makeup well here's the thing society dictates our value as men whereas ladies they get to come up with their own value and, and i've talked about this in previous episodes men change their mindset to fit their environment whereas women change their environment to fit their mindset truly is sad but there's really not much we can do about it and then spill the truth behind their back. I know which side I prefer. How long have you been dating the guy? Four years. Do, do, do you mind if we call him? Oh, God. Uh oh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> okay. Shh. Hello? Hello. Hey. It's your girlfriend. <laughs> yeah, what are you wearing? For boxers? <laughs> well, what would it take to get those off? <laughs> yeah, a little dirty. You know how I like it. Why don't we bring another girl because I'm bi? <laughs> so, Joey, how do you feel about the fact that Tia could, en could end up leaving you for a man or a woman? <laughs> Oh, wow. Damn. How big is your <laughs> Joey, we're waiting. <laughs> what is this? Am I, am I on speakerphone? No. Are you on speakerphone? No, it's just you and me. Why would I make your business public? I would never do that. Appreciate it, girl. Yeah, thanks, baby. So, so how big is it? Everyone laughing because it's only funny when the man's the butt of the joke. That's okay, we can take it. Uh, Don't mind a few laughs. Just get ready to do the same, trolling. ladies. Ask everyone to rate their looks on a scale of 1 to 10. ten. Oh, here we go. Ooh. 5, 10, 9, 2, 6, 6, uh, 6, 7, 8, 8. Oh yeah, uh, I give myself a 5. Andrew? Uh, I would say I'm a 4. Question for the 10 and the 9. Do you think you'll be better looking in 10 years as yes. compared to now? Okay, so you're 25. You'll be Delusional. better looking at 35 as compared to now at 25? For sure. Let's uh, double it. 20 years, better looking at 45 as compared to now at 25. No, I think like late 30s are the real prime. Yes. I'm sorry. I'm 35 right now, and I do not look better than I did at 25. And I'm 36, and I don't look better than I did at 26. Mm. Well, I don't drink alcohol, and I take care of myself, so... I have high hopes. Good genes. Look, she knew the truth when he asked. Oh my God, I love it. I absolutely love it. Well, I have good genes and like, I just nah, nah, nah. Oh, empathy. I don't even understand how she can feel that way. Wait, what was it? What was it? What was it? What was it? My girlfriend just accused me of having zero empathy. I don't even understand how she can feel that way. <laughs> Whatever. It was supposed to be a joke. You don't laugh at anything anymore. <laughs> hey. You've been married as long as I have, you won't laugh at anything either. This was supposed to be a skit, but turned out to be a look into the future. Why are you being so um, mean to women up here? How am I being mean to women? 
Because you are. Just because we wear fake hair doesn't mean we're not natural. Like we have natural, naturally beautiful skin, naturally beautiful personality. So why are you coming at us? You have a naturally beautiful personality, really? Absolutely. Where's your husband at? <laughs> I don't have a husband. I don't we need know. a man. <laughs> Y'all need us more than anything. So what's funny? Really? Listen, folks, we got somebody up here with a naturally beautiful personality. Absolutely. With a naturally beautiful she talking about all this natural beauty. She ain't got no husband. Because I don't want one. So, mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. self care. Mm -hmm. Women best. control access to sex, men control access to relationships. If you're alone, it's because no man deems you a woman of value. Care. I bet you don't. I bet you I'm, don't. I'm, I'm, I'm turning 26 next. Well, tomorrow. I'm Good turning 26 tomorrow. No, and care. I don't need a man for nothing. Care. I'm young. I'm beautiful. Good. And Guess what? The thing is, you, oh, there's the sister wife in the back. You never hear men saying, you know what? I don't need a woman for nothing, man. I don't need her for nothing. We never say that. To settle for nobody or nothing. That's what we don't care. And I don't care neither. You obviously do care. Well, right? obviously you do care because you up here. This is my show. You on my life. So what? People are I mean, here You're to see funny. Business. You're hilarious. And now they're People here to see here. me. Watch this. Now I'm going to shut you up. People are here to see me. They're not here to see you. Nobody's showing up to see you. No husband, no man. Look, I knew they was going. That's all they got. That's all they can do. The same old jokers. That's all they can do. You know, it only takes one sentence, one brief. Sister wives, man. These women end up being um, alone together with their uh, girlfriends. That's what it usually turns up and ends up being. So no Fugazi. Let's see what he's got. Faster than why are women choosing the wrong men? Because the new generation got it. red guiding them to the wrong men. I feel but like the that's new just influence. Mm, so that's been happening for years before Sexy Red came out. Right. Influence creates thinking, thinking it's creates behavior. Wouldn't you say that the person that has the ability to block out negative influences mature better? But yes. women can't block out negative influence like they, men can? They can. I Yes, they can. But why well, how? If they're to? always choosing the wrong men. But I don't I have no idea why they choose the wrong men. But I believe that accountability could be and say, hey, we pick bad men. Yeah, I mean, that's a good start. We are better than it, right? When we are born, we have that nurture and we have all that in it. But it takes society. When we come out, we are now living. We are now with this family. We're in foster but care. But you're taking accountability away from the woman and you're putting it on culture and society. Mm -hmm. So, yes. Why are women leaving the poor choices that they made in men? Since they initiate 80% of the divorces, but they're unhappy with their choices. We matured more and now we're like, dang, why did I end up with but this stupid I'm better than you? Uh -huh. Acting uh -huh. on how you feel, I would say that's immature. Kind of kids do that. How they feel, then they tend to act out. Mm -hmm. Men, we're a little bit more stoic naturally. Men are able to regulate their emotions naturally. Women get their period every month. You're more emotional. You're higher in estrogen. You are higher in trait <laughs> neuroticism, so you feel more negative emotions. So therefore, if we're looking at it, the person that acts on how they feel is immature. The person that acts despite how they feel is the mature person, and that concludes to men. Women like to chase the loudest voice. No, Fugazi over here preaching get this man an award Just i love his loud podcast mouth. he has a lot of good For clips now. yes i think this is kind of setting a it's changing up the dynamics a little bit that he wouldn't even pay for a little bit of her birthday party. So she's getting into ballet. There's recitals coming up. There are other things coming up and i'm just <sighs> nervous that don't be nervous be at their service. He's going to see that imbalance in our relationship and it's going to cost something but you're creating the imbalance fifteen fifteen hundred dollars yeah for an eight-year-old birthday party that's not that doesn't if it's that not that much money then why don't you have it shots fired shots fired if you're broke just say that doesn't sound it sounds bad when you say it out of the context but that's normal no bad. within no, the that context is, that is ridiculous that is yeah. normal no it's Last, not normal Susie no. had a birthday party that cost two thousand dollars so so I you're think trying that, to keep up with Susie well I didn't do two thousand I could have done two thousand and I think I kept it out of a reasonable cost Wait, this is why dude it's like comparison is the thief of joy she's going out there and comparing her life to another family that's probably doing much better than her and them financially and saying well well little Timmy needs a a 1500 you know birthday party nine years old i was lucky to get a freaking bike i was lucky to get a high five maybe a cake from walmart 1500 dollars. <laughs> let me know chat were you getting 1500 dollars birthdays when you were nine years old loki does somebody want to carry it loki free sit wait free free 
Video place? He getting tired now. I was never getting $1,500 freaking birthday parties at that age, bro. I don't, I don't think, like, I think, I was talking to my mom the other day. I think all of our bills growing up, every bit of our bills was less than $1,400 a month. $1,400. Nowadays, $1,400 wouldn't even take, take care of the mortgage. <laughs> like, life is so much more expensive now, and people are like, well, why aren't you guys having kids? Because back in my day... You could have four or five kids off of a mailman's salary. Why, why aren't y'all buying houses? Why aren't y'all growing up? Why aren't y'all having freaking kids? It's like, because I can't freaking afford it. Shout out to inflation. Can't even afford to have kids these days. It's absolute insanity, dude. Absolute insanity. Don't forget to cop the ebook, The Four Pillars of Personality. Makes you irresistible to women and respected by men. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. I really appreciate you guys, man. The growth has been crazy. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You guys have been my hero recently. I can be your hero, baby. But nah, seriously, the love is real. I really do appreciate you guys. I will see you guys tomorrow, man. Peace.